Morning everyone, it's not a bad day today. It's kind of windy, but uh, should be able to get some work done. So we'll uh, go and get the tractor started up and uh, see about filling some earth bags. So a few people have asked why I don't make like an attachment for the bucket to fill these bags and the reason why is because of this. It's just two big stones that need taken out. It's all clumped together. Like you can see that there's no way that is going to flow into a bag. Look, you can see. No way that will flow into bags at all. It's like that big lumps and it comes out and it just wouldn't flow if you have a really dry soil it'd work but not with this sticky clay because even i have to even when i'm doing it by hand i have to come in and get it all broken up and now i can shovel it and it's still very it wouldn't flow into a bag well with a chance to you know go in you have to get a few scoops in and then really need to get that down into the corners then. Re redo it. You know, in order to do fill these bags mechanically with this kind of soil, you need some kind of like conveyor belt system or something that broke it up and it would need to be much drier it just wouldn't work I did think about it a lot I thought about it for weeks actually I've been a few little sketches and stuff of things I could do little machines and it just uh, it's just easier to do it like this because the number of days per year that I can actually like shovel the soil where it's nice and dry and it hasn't got any rocks in it and stuff and you get the perfect scoop is so few and far between that it wouldn't be worth it. And on top of that, the um the contraction would make the bucket of the tractor single use. So when I want to come in and tidy up the floor or anything like that, I'd have to take it all off, turn it all back to the normal tractor bucket and it, it'd use up a lot of time, it's easier and faster and more efficient just to do it like this. Uh, my saw jumped out of its uh, notch at the last second I hit that bag so that's a blunt chain instantly it's great it's really awkward but I gotta get a sort of a flat spot on here so the bags have something to bear against uh, so that's what we're doing so I think that'll be all right they should be able to push against there and curl over a little bit and then we'll plaster one up to them all right yeah next one will sit in here somewhere should be good been a bit of a challenging day today, a bit windy and muddy and not that fun. You know, this is what I'm doing here. Uh, it's joining to the door just to clear the nails and barbed wire and pack that out a bit and then we'll put the bag on there and plaster it all in, you won't know. Uh, it's just to have a little bit more support on the edges for the bag. Should work, I think. Uh, yes, yeah, so now we're ready to uh, get this roll on all the way around to there. So, yeah, let's get it done. Right, we've got another row done. Uh, yeah, it was a struggle today, didn't really enjoy it to be honest. But uh, got a row done. Starting to go into the door a bit. 
the wall, you know I said I don't build things that wobble, well the wall's got a wobble to it. Um, yeah, it's because it's water got, we had a storm and the covers blew off, water got behind the back and the bags have gone soft again so there's a slight wobble to it but it'll sort itself out when it dries. One of the main problems I've had with building with this uh, style of uh, building methods with earth bags in this climate is keeping the consistency of the bag fill well consistent because of the different moisture levels in them that's why you can see some are fatter than others some are bulged out some are flattened it's just it's you know if it was all consistent it'd be easy but you know the one that's currently tamping is like really soggy like a bag full of concrete and uh, and then you know you'll pack, do another one and it'll be like a bag full of gravel and it's really been hard to keep them consistent but you know we're getting there this is going to be a window here uh, another four or five rows at least yeah I keep putting rows up and it keeps on the keeps looking like there's even more to do but we're going up the door frame so we got to get up to like there so pretty four rows yeah I go around over there and do another row yet okay so that's gonna be it for the day it was a challenge I'm gonna get this covered up again now little sneak peek here of something that's going on see if you can figure out or guess what it is Hey everyone, new day, nice day today but bad weather's coming so just going to try and get a road on the outside. I was just going to ask your opinion on this. I've got this glass here that I got for free. It's kind of got a reflection to it if you see. Um, you see there's the stuff that's see-through. That's got like a, a tint to it you can't see in. Just wondering what your opinions are of what that's going to look like in that downstairs there in those windows. Let me know in the comments what you think, whether it looked wrong. Um, they're going to be like curved in and stuff um, yeah let me know because they're brand new you see and they would actually be quite good for it size wise and everything but let me know if you think it'll look right having them in these windows here but yeah I just uh, just filled the bags for that row I'm going to go around and uh, get them on top and tamped and so on I say wind and rain coming so I've literally just got to stay and uh, uh, the morning on Wednesday and I'm going to be out of luck with the weather again so get to it I suppose yeah all the bags done so let's uh, time lapse you and we'll get them up Check it out, windows. So yeah, I'm nearly nearly at lintels soon. So I need to get them sorted out and do the window boxes. This is gonna be another thing fairly soon. Can't wait to get this roof on and start plastering. It's gonna be so cool. We're gonna scratch away a lot of this that's built up from earth bagging. And um, then this will be filled up with, uh, down here is gonna be a, like a compacted stone floor. Um, which is then going to offer support for those lower earth bags because at the moment they're just on top of the gravel um, but obviously once the floor comes up they'll be they'll be towing I think is the term so yeah doing good as you can see have a look at it compared to me it's the uh, same height as me so I'm about 1.75 meters about 5 foot 8 something like that 5 foot 7 5 foot 8 might be generous actually <laughs> but yeah that's what the height right now we've got to go to 2.3 meters so yeah it's come along well i'm happy with it it's nice and strong considering that there's big openings still that haven't got window boxes in them so yeah gonna cover it up now as you can probably see the weather's gonna turn on me in a minute well i got another uh, layer done on the stairs we're up to uh almost one more layer now we're up to floor level on the uh, upper workshop um, I didn't film it, it's just uh, windy and I had someone helping as well, I didn't know if there was a big camera but, but yeah we're up to floor level here so uh, we go round there again next and uh, repeat. I've had like 50 mile an hour wind here all week, loads of rain, check out the stream. Anyway, I just looked out the window a little while ago and something just didn't look right and uh, I could see that something just wasn't where it should be and I came out here and whole section of wall of the, uh, of the workshops fallen over 
It's not a big section, it's a section between two window frames and it's just fallen over. It got wet, tarp blew off in the wind, we had like 50 mile an hour winds for a week and the whole section there, zoom in for you so I don't have to go over there, the whole section there has fallen over and I'm going to have to rebuild it all, so gutted, really gutted, you know, I'm going to have to go backwards with it. I've recovered it up, but that whole bit there, just toppled over, gutted. Ah, uh, man, look at it, whole section of wall, gone. This is what happened, look, the tarp blew off, and then these bags got so wet that they just disintegrated, and then the wall was able to just fall down, which is not surprising really. Those ones under there, pretty bad too. Yeah, oh God. Oh dear. Good couple of days work fixing all this. Shit. Well, they're all just mangled in a big horrible mess, so I can't really reuse them, so just gonna pull them all apart and recover my brackets and barbed wire and stuff and just have to rebuild it. Big setback. Really quite demoralised. Very, very annoying. I'm really disappointed. Um, just the weather. I wasn't here. Top blew off. You know, we had just solid, solid wind and rain for just ages. And the tarps just come off. I wasn't here to put them on. And it just uh, deteriorated the bags. And then... Uh, fell over so brilliant so yeah let's uh, get them cleaned up and just thought I had a good idea I'm just gonna carry on round doing my bags I otherwise would have been but um, as I go just put in a new row there and then only be a little bit to do then well we got some of it but it's cleaned up got them um, about to ditch most of them cut them open get it out because it, they're just too too wet some of them are just ridiculous. Some of them are right, they're just too deformed. But some of them, they're just like slop. They uh, managed to uh, get a few back in place. They're a bit muddy, but they're okay. They're gonna, just all needs to dry out now and we need to redo it. But what happens is, is the corners, the edges get wet and this just gives away. See, it's quite soft. So you gotta keep the, them if they stay hard like it you know it's not going to go anywhere but once that gives away you know and it can drop the whole thing just falls over and um, it'd be like having a brick wall that's you know you've got a one whole side of it it's the mortar's wet and it's just gonna it's just gonna tip so yeah foundations back in for to build up again it's not too bad it's just a bit of a pain but I'll make the most of it get it done and carry on building back up Hey everyone, so got another row done with the help of volunteer, didn't record it because, um, well, you've seen it all before, but we're starting to get tied into the door here, you can see, starting to work way out the door, and like I say, another row round, only two more rows to go around there, and uh, we'll be in, and we still have a chance of putting this roof on, so started rebuilding that too. So only another three rows to do to rebuild that section we lost in the storm and put the roof on. So very pleased. So it's coming together, window there. So I need to look at getting wood now to do the wooden wall plate that the roof's gonna sit on and so on. But we are getting somewhere, so very pleased. So I'm gonna cover it back up now and that's gonna be the end of this video. Um, bad weather's coming in again. Okay, so hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.